Hello everyone, this is Harsh, and this video is going to show you how to create a Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights randomized ROM. So, uh, the first thing you're going to need is of course a Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights ISO file. Uh, you're gonna have to use Google for that because I'm not showing you how to get that. Um, but it's a lot easier to do than you expect. Uh, and you're gonna need Dolphin Emulator. Specifically, the developer version of Dolphin. You can download it right here. I have the Windows version, so of course I'll be downloading the Windows. Uh, I already have all of this stuff downloaded, so I am not going to download it again. Next thing you're going to need is Industrial Park. This is an editor for SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. And you can do things like randomize that game, as well as the Scooby-Doo game we're about to randomize. And you can also edit things like level... things in levels if you'd like, but yes. Download the zip file, and save, and do all that stuff. And last thing you need is GameCube Rebuilder. Uh, you're going to click here, download the file, and if it asks you for a password, you can just cut and paste the one it gives you on the side, enter, and then just click I am human, and then it'll just let you download it. So yeah, you just download that, extract that somewhere. Uh, I would recommend downloading all three of these and putting them all in like one folder just to keep it all organized. So I have a folder called tutorial where I have all three of these already kind of set. So yeah, here's Dolphin, here's GameCube Builder, here's Industrial Perk. Delete this. <coughs> uh, we're gonna open up Dolphin Emulator. And you should have like basically all your games and stuff saved here. If you don't have, like, the pictures and stuff here, you can always do right-click, configuration, path, and then... Here, let me remove this just for the sake of example. This is probably what it'll look like if this is your first time downloading it. Do you add, you go to your folder, click on games. So games is where I basically store all my little ISO files, and this is the folder where it'll select all the ROMs and stuff. Like here, I'll even show you, it's right here. That's pretty much it for that. So we'll go on Scooby Doo, and then right click, properties, go to file system, uh, right click on disk, click on extract the entire disk. And what we want to do is we're going to want to make a folder uh, to extract all these files to. So we're going to go to Scoop, we're going to call this folder Scooby Rando. You can call it whatever you'd like. And then it'll extract all these files, like the boot files, the FMVs, the levels, uh, basically everything that makes up the game. And we gotta just wait for this to load. Alright, once all of that's done, you can close out. Once all of that's done, you can close out, uh, exit. We're gonna go back to our tutorial um, folder where we have all this stuff. Go to Industrial Park. Go to Randomizer. And now we're going to actually randomize the game. So there's a lot of options here we can mess with. The first thing we're going to do is go to game directory, uh, choose a game directory, and basically we're going to find the Scooby-Doo Rando ROM we just created. Click on files, select the folder, and you'll see this is where like our game directory is saved. So we're going to first off disable everything. Uh, it just makes it, honestly, easier to do everything. Uh, we're gonna click on warps, because warps are the main thing uh, we randomize in Scooby-Doo Night of Hunter Frights. A lot of these options relate to Spongebob, Battle for Bikini Bottom, so things like shiny object, boulders, tiki's don't really relate to Scooby-Doo. Uh, you can click on sounds, music, textures, and all this stuff if you'd like to mess around with it. Uh, but a lot of these tend to crash the game, and I would advise not uh, selecting any of this stuff. You can also, um, I don't recommend selecting any of these because these tend to crash the game a lot more. Uh, and finally, on the right side here where we have any mods, we're going to go to don't show menu on boot. We're going to put that to false if it already isn't set to false. And this should also be false, the all warped HBO one. Once you do all that, um, collect. 
click perform and then select the region where you want your console to be. It'll only ask you to do this if this is a randomizer Scooby. So click OK. Okay, once you're done, you should get a little pop up message saying your randomization is complete. And now you should have a bunch of your files and stuff should be saved here. So the final step is basically building the ROM. So we're going to go to GameCube Rebuilder, click on the .exe file, and we're going to go to Image, Open, and we're going to open the ROM file. Um, this is not the one we created, this is the one we originally downloaded, so the 900 Frights ISO. We're going to go to uh, System and Data, right click, Export. And then we're going to go to uh, Tutorials, or sorry, that's where I saved it. We're going to go to our where we saved our randomized files. So in my case, it's Scooby Rando. Uh, we're going to go to Files. We want to save this in this. We're going to save the at at system data folder in Files. And when it should pretty much be done immediately, click Success, Done. Uh, close the image by doing Image Close. Right, um, click on root, click on open, and again we're going to have to browse for our folder again, but this time we're going to uh, look for the system folder specifically. So Scooby Rando, we're going to go to files, and your at at system folder should be here. So click OK. And then we're going to right click, save, so we can actually create the ISO. We're gonna call this. Uh, we're gonna call this Scooby Test. You can call this whatever you'd like. And then we're gonna do on root. We're gonna click this, and then we're gonna click build. Or sorry, rebuild. So then now the ROM will be rebuilt with all the levels randomized and whatnot. shouldn't take too long, it should take about the same amount of time it took you to extract all those files initially. And if you did everything correctly, this shouldn't take you any more than like 10 minutes. So once you're done, select done, click OK, and now let's X out of here and actually test the game out. We're gonna go to Dolphin. And now you notice I have two Scooby-Doo 900 Frights ROM, so which one is it? Uh, I like to just go to open, and then we're going to open the Scooby test ISO I just made. And we're going to go through all the, this little intro bit stuff. So then we're going to test to make sure our randomized stuff actually worked. Alright, so the easiest way to check is just to go into a level. So this is like the first level, and yep, that worked out. So we're in which way now? And basically this randomizer is just a door entrance randomizer, so it just takes you to like random areas in the game. Now I want to keep you to keep this in mind that if you end up going to the Red Beard boss fight level, which is uh, Shiver Your Timbers Part 2, and you do not have the helmet um, or Super Smash Inventions, then that is a soft lock, and you will just have to simply restart the game. And also, don't, uh, don't, don't save the game while you're in the randomizer and then reload. Like, if you reload, like, an, another fi a file from like another save file, because this is this will keep your save files from your initial ROM, then it can crash the game. Uh, yeah, but with that in mind, uh, this is the Scooby-Doo randomizer. Um, it's pretty fun, honestly. It's kind of going in the game in a weird order. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave some to leave the comments down below, and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. But just follow the videos step by step, slow it down if you need to. Uh, take a breather just like you need to refresh a step because uh, yeah, this took me a while to figure out But I hope this makes it easier for you guys, and I hope you have fun with your Scooby-Doo randomized adventures
uh, with that, um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and um, I'm going to be tuning up. See ya.